Hello everybody and welcome back to the Halfson SMP server. As you can see we're starting today's episode in a brand new area. We are here over at a former forest as I'm planning on expanding Doom Enterprises by opening up a second business. If you remember in the last episode I set up an automatic flower farm to help get dyes for the terracotta store. Since then I've decided that maybe a good idea to also supply these flowers to the other people on the server that they can use for decoration or turn into dyes. So I've come to a flower forest to make sure we can get all the flowers possible. We will be missing wither roses but I don't plan on selling them, at least not yet. And we will need to visit a swamp in order to get blue orchids. As you can see I've already set up one, two, three farms over here. And you see me set up these farms in the last episode. We're going to start things off by making this area a bit safer because as you can see I've died an extra time since our last episode and yes that was with me just standing afk out in the open here so not very safe. So let's get building and make this area a bit safer and add some more useful tools that we can use while we're over here. And that is it, our final flower farm is up and running. I wanted to try and keep the natural look of the area as well as make it safer for me to use. So instead of just building up some high walls, I decided to go with a fenced off perimeter style around the area. I decided on using the oak and birch for the fences as I wanted to give the impression that the wood has been left out in the sun for a long period of time, which has bleached all the colour out of the wood. And I contrasted this with the use of the dark oak in the ground, so the dark wood and path blocks help make the ground look a lot more dirty and muddy. I also added this bridge to make it easier to get to the third farm. I could have used some dirt and grass to join the islands together and a larger piece of land since the gap isn't overly big. But I felt the bridge gives the area more character, especially with the small islands of flowers rather than having one massive piece of land as usual. And as you saw in the video, I added some mossy blocks to the blocks closest to the water and some cracked bricks around the top just to give the bridge a little bit more detail. And then finally I finished up by adding this little bit of shitwater over here. This just has some space for some miscellaneous storage as well as crafting and somewhere safe to skip the nights because I'm always terrible at remembering to bring a bed with me wherever I go. I'm really happy with how the build turned out but be sure to let me know what you think about the area in the comments down below. Any feedback, tips, suggestions on anything I build in this series is always welcomed and encouraged. So now that we can easily get our supply of flowers, we need somewhere to sell them. But instead of popping up another shop besides Tia Cotter, I'm over at the other side of the shopping district and instead of making a similar style of building, I'm going to make something a little bit different. So let's start building it.
And there we have it, our little flower stall is up and running. I decided to go with a market stall style just to do something a bit different and break out from all the western themed builds we've been doing. I also think it fits this area of the shopping district a bit better as well since all the other builds in this area are quite small and compact too. Let me know what you think about the build in the comments down below, but I do hope you think it's quite a nice and refreshing change from what we've been doing. So now that we've got it built, we just need to get word out to the server that we're open for business and start making some extra money. And I think I have an idea on how we can best do that. Howdy partner, feeling a bit down there? You want to know the number one way to add some colour to your life? And get yourself down to Petals Plus, our range of beautiful flowers are sure to put the colour back into your life. Ah, <clears throat> oh, apologies about that folks, I don't really know what came over me. But yeah, anyway, about advertising Petals Plus, so I'm over here at the Half Sun Times office just to purchase some ad space. As you can see at the bottom of this lovely newspaper, you can purchase some ads for your businesses or what's going on about the server. This is one that Broken Pixel done a while ago, and this is one that Lev done, so I thought I'd make use of the community and advertising that so everybody at the server can see. So I'm just over here placing a little order at Halatio's desk and I've written him this little book just to know what I would like. So dear Halfson Times Editor-in-Chief, I would like to purchase some space on an up and coming issue of your fantastic newspaper. This is for my new business, Petals Plus. I have no hard requirements for the advertisement, just something bright, colourful and flowery. I feel that that really fits the market still. Yours sincerely, this is Doom. So we'll sign this and we'll call it Ad Space. And we'll leave this here for Halatio and I'm looking forward to see what he does and hopefully that will drum up some business for us. So to finish up the episode we're over here at Tia Kota. I just wanted to check how our sales are doing and show you what I've been up to over here since the last episode. I also got a comment on the last episode from fellow YouTuber Fabulous Nanny who suggested putting upside down stairs on the inside of the roof. Now I have in the past put upside down stairs along the outside of a roof just to make it a lot more thicker but I hopped into a creative world where I designed this build and tried it in there and I really liked her idea so thank you very much for that suggestion of your watching Danny and if you're interested in more Minecraft videos with really cool builds and mega bases as well as pranks definitely check out her channel I'll leave it linked at the description and in the top right on one of those little cards but I'll fill in this ceiling here and we'll jump right back and you can see what you think about it. And there we have it, the upside down stairs have been added on to the inside of the ceiling. So yeah, as I said, I really like it. I think it works really well with the beams going across and it makes them look a lot more secure and they'll look really inset in the ceiling. So thank you very much for that suggestion, Danny. And as I said, be sure to check her channel out for some more awesome Minecraft content. But now let's head down the stairs and see how we're doing down here. So we have actually had our first sale on selling some of this light gray terracotta, and we sold three stacks. The server has been pretty quiet, so I'm really happy to get even that just one sale, and three extra diamonds can never hurt too much. I've also spent some time adding in this little storage cellar down here. So in here I've just added some overflow of our terracotta as well as some building blocks and somewhere to make sure that we've got a selection of quote unquote tea that we can easily refill up the stills. So yeah, everything's looking really good over here at Terracotta and I'm happy with how things are progressing with the store. So for the final update of this episode, we're over here at our mining shack. And what I've done since the last episode is I've moved over all of my blocks, so things like cobble, gravel, and this eight granite, as well as all of our coal supply. I'm going to keep that over on this section here. And I've also worked on the way down to where we do our strip mining. So I've added in these planks just to make a nice little gradual staircase all the way down. I think this gives it a really nice steep and deep look into the cave. So it looks like it's quite down far away. Then on the walls I've added in these support pillars at the sides and attached some lights just to brighten the place up. Then I've also added in these fenced off sections. 
So this basically just makes it look like the cobblestone's been held in place by the fences and to break up the texture of the cobble and to slash my riches you could say I've just dotted about some random holes so things like iron, redstone, gold, lapis I thought that just gave it a nice visual touch I probably could add some diamond ore but I like my shiny blocks too much to use them in the walls and I really want to keep them especially when I can buy stuff at some of the other server members' stores as well. I think I will be keeping them in my ender chest. And there we have it for today's episode. Be sure to let me know what you think of the new flower farm area and the Petals Plus market stall. Hopefully the ad space that we took out and have some times will help us drum up some business. A couple of the up and coming episodes on the channel will be fully collab episodes. Myself and Broken Pixel have a plan for a large project on the server that I think a few of other members will really like us doing. It's also something that I've never done before so I'm really looking forward to it myself but for the time being my lips are sealed on what we'll be doing. I also wanted to thank everyone in the last week the channel has jumped up to 20 subscribers so thank you all for your support and kind comments on all the videos. As always thank you very much for watching and if you have enjoyed the episode be sure to like and subscribe for more episodes in the future and until then I'll see you next time. Bye! Feeling a bit down there?